Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we are checking out Blitzwolf's 4K 15 inches of LCD TFT display. And right here, I have it plugged into my 16 inch MacBook Pro VR, the USB-C connection. Now you do get a power adapter, a 30 watts power adapter that you can plug in right there into the power port. But this 16 inch is actually able to drive this beauty just purely on the battery. Now, another way you can configure your system, again, I haven't tested this long enough to recommend it, but you can plug in the power adapter to the monitor and use the USB-C cable to power your laptop. For example, right here, well, according to iStat, it's saying it's charging at 90 watts. It's using a 90 watt power adapter, which is the power adapter I'm currently using. So that could be an alternative way of setting your system up. Again, I've had no problems so far, touch wood, using this guy to drive this guy and the power supply going to this unit, but you can do it the flip way round. Probably check out the comment section below. I'll post an update of my latest configuration. And as you can see, it also seems to work just as fine on a razor blade stealth. So yeah, surprisingly, it also works on a 13 incher as well as my MacBook Pro. But again, I don't know the full technicalities with using this setup without having an external power adapter plugged into this portable monitor. But in emergencies at least, it seems to work fine. Now you might be asking, whoa, but the screen on your MacBook Pro, it is not functionality. Yeah, that's right. I don't know what happened. I think, uh, I think what I did earlier today, I held my MacBook Pro like this instead of uh, like this side, or maybe I applied too much pressure. I was moving it around and I turned my computer on. And for some reason, my screen no longer turns on. So yeah, an external monitor, useful for those kind of situations where the computer fully works, but you can't access the screen. Other things to notice about this screen in particular, it is a 4K display. So it's, it's, it's higher in pixels than my MacBook Pro, but for some reason, I think it's because it's TFT, LCD, that kind of technology, it feels a bit maybe blurrier. It's not blurrier, but it doesn't feel as crisp and as uh, beautiful as this beautiful black screen that you've seen right here. Looks very sharp and nice. Although there is that sort of, I think it's just mainly screen reflections that you get with TFT panels. Whereas on the laptop itself, it just looks a lot more crisp, even though the resolution is higher on the 4K display. And the colors and the brightness, they're not as fully tuned up as they are on a proper MacBook Pro. So the screen can be reflective, as you can see right there. I mean, all screens can be reflective. This guy's a bit shiny, but there's a bit of glare, glare on it when you're looking around. If you get on the right angle, you don't notice it if you're looking at it head on. So that's pretty good. So this is the package you get from Banggood, padded successfully. And <laughs> look at it here. You get an adapter plug to be able to plug it over in Australia. Oh la la. The monitor itself, manual, HDMI I believe, HDMI cable, USB-C cable, USB-C cable again. You get a stand, a power adapter, which is only 30 watts of power. And check this out right here, a remote control. Though you have to provide your own batteries. The monitor itself features two USB-Cs on the left with a HDMI microphone port. And on the right you get USB-A and a couple of buttons to play with. You get a stand to throw it in. You can even put it on your MacBook Pro like this. You know, replaces the screen. Then you got screen replacement. Easy as, without having to go through Apple. So this is a higher res than what normally is shown on a MacBook Pro. So this computer is struggling a little bit more, getting 35 frames a second, slightly less than normal, but it's completely usable and it works and it looks beautiful and crisp. It's just the viewing angles that isn't perfect. You do get plenty of options in the settings to customize the volume. Yeah, it has a speaker built in. Not that good, it's just a basic one. The brightness, the colors, all that kind of stuff. To be honest, I tried making it perfect like the MVP, but I couldn't do it. But for the price, it's pretty cheap. And it really saves your life when you're waiting for a free slot at the Apple Store so they can repair your computer. So I'm able to still use this computer while I'm out and about, and I've got a nice situation happening there. One thing I'd say is, if you are using a MacBook Pro, you do get a lot of fan noise city when you have an external monitor plugged in, and uh, that is just the nature of the beast. 
One thing I have to say about this laptop is that it is extremely quiet. The fans really don't go that loud. So just look at that quality on the monitor. This, it does look good, it does look really good. And that's how the small one, so you can easily upgrade your mini laptop's experience with this nice 4K one. Quality wise, from this distance, they look about the same. I do say there is more glare on this TFT panel rather than the built-in one, but you do get more inches with the Blitzwolf. So there you go, that was it. That was the Blitzwolf 15 inches of TFT LCD display, portable monitor as long as it's attached to MacBook Pro. One thing that surprised me is that it can be powered via the USB-C of the MBP. I wouldn't recommend it, or at least if you're gonna do that, disable Turbo Boost. I'll show you how to do that in my other video. And uh, it just works, it's pretty fun for showcasing. It's like a floating iPad that you can't tap on the screen with. And it saves your life in case you two smash up your screen. Hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know what kind of external monitors you're using with your systems. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. This is how my girlfriend's gonna find out I smashed up her screen. She's gonna watch this video. <laughs>